Hello everybody, and this is Zikvijan. Today we are going to be playing The Wandering Village. It was originally going to be called Nyoma. And I have played this game before, just to see if it's good. However, it has been updated since I last played it. And there's this little welcome thing. They are Strafe on Serio. They have a Discord server. They can, you can follow them on Steam. They even have a forum page. I don't know if it's still up, granted. So yeah, they have that. They're an indie team from Switzerland. They have many games. And I haven't shown all of them. I have, I don't know if I've shown an Embatis. It's a pretty cool one. I'm gonna do a new game. Let's see. I'm gonna do tutorial. I'm not going for veteran. But do I, do I have to? Oh, okay, so if you want the tutorial, you'll have to go with Novice. Okay, well, I'll go with this, then. I'm gonna call it Nyoma. Because... Makes sense. Oh, see? They want you to do a saveless run. That's the... That's the hard mode, okay. And... Okay, so that's not for veterans. Mm, spit out my gum. But wandering, looking for shelter. There is a voice lying here, by the way. The night of dreams. Did we imagine that we would find a dragon? Oh my gosh, it's a dragon! Oh my gosh, guys, this is so amazing. They're, they're basically dragons, by the way. Don't forget to feed your and heal your ombu whenever needed. I also did make that sloth video based on uh, uh based on sloth it's from 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 our Optimus, but it's ombu in the picture. Okay, so yeah, we don't have any housing, so I'm gonna show you how this game works. Harvest tool after I figure out how it works. Building items. Okay, so start out, make house. How do I... Is it control? No. Hold on. Oh, and you see right here, here's the resources. So yeah, it's a soldi this is a city building game, but it, it's cool, trust me. I just gotta figure out the key. Okay, it's not on. I'm actually gonna have to look in the controls. Okay. So this game has a pause menu as well as just a pause. So you can see the, by the white outline, it's not me going in the window. That's a pause, unpause. And you can see it's fainter, but it's paused. And then also it has the overlay of a menu, which I actually think is kind of cool. You can see how it works. Uh, population details. We have 16. Okay, we need more housing. So we have half the amount of housing we need. And I forgot how to do the thing. It's not a F. Oh, okay. And now we're out of resources, so we have to harvest. And I'll just rip some trees out of the ground. Get rid of the idols. Wait, is that a mother tree? I don't want to get rid of the mother trees. No way. So all fully grown trees will have the same amount of wood. This is a large giant trunk. I don't see any mother trees yet, so I'm just gonna take that as a go ahead to um, harvest everything. Oh, so this has a Twitch play settings. Okay, harvest the seed. Oh, and you can drag as well. I'll, yeah, I'll drag it over. Just gotta make sure these are all fully grown, because everyone will grow a set amount. And then I'll Three, and we're going faster. Oh wait, shoot, no, they'll starve. We're gonna starve. We have a bit of food. It's all raw, so we're gonna, gonna do that. We'll want a research building. As well as some housing. Housing is always the first step. Oh, there's a tree in the way. Actually, wait, no, it's not. Uh, Villager is indestructible. Oh, they have durability, I forgot. Durability is a mechanic in this game. And I think this is everything I have. 
Oh no, I have other things. Okay. Okay, so when even when the games pause, you can still go menuing. So I guess that's important. Okay, so the glossary, aka the elder's notebook, is basically like the notebook. It's the tutorial you can go back to any time. I'll actually run through it. So basically you have to survive as long as possible. Take care of Anbu. If everyone dies, you die. Um, so yeah, if everyone dies, or if Anbu dies. Camera movement. Game speed. Like options, yeah. The only thing I don't like about the cooking in this game is that you can't mix food, so you don't have to grow multiple types of food, unless I'm mistaken. Okay, so I've set up dirt roads, which uh, increase the speed at which uh, your villagers walk. And then you have stone, and then you have onboo pipes, which can be harvested but reduces onboo trust. So basically, you're, you're cutting off this guy's spikes, like you're cutting off these things. And then if you zoom out, you can see this, and zoom out more, see where we're heading. Right now, we're in like a place. It's not a jungle, and more importantly, it's not mentioned on the, the glossary, which actually has backstory, which I'm going to read. Files. Oh, actually, no, I think we're in the mountains. Okay, Anbu backstory. Anbu was believed to go extinct. Th th this is like the last line or something. Ancient documents indicate that Anbu usually dropped their nutrients from the spiritual forces of the earth, aka geothermal, except now it's poison because there's poison. Basically, there's a bunch of fungus, and I'm not going to elaborate more until it brings itself up. Basically, we ran away from the poison, and now we're on Anbu. Otherwise, we'd probably be dead. Basically, Anbu is the main character. We are the main character. We are the miracle workers. And the rest of this is just how you can teach Anbu to do a flip. So I'll harvest some rocks. Boop. Now, we're gonna set up a research building as well. And then... So research building will also want a worker's post. Which will clear up some space as well. So clear some space. And that'll be good for now. Oh, right. Okay, not enough resources. So let's speed up. How quickly are we going through food? Setting up some dirt path. So actually, I don't want to start doing that until I get the basic necessities up and done with. So, research. So... So we can do this. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, plenty of things we can do. It's recommending we do the kitchen first. Though there, no, in hard, there, of course, there's probably gonna be a reason not to. I'm gonna go with kitchen first, cause hold on, let me zoom out. Yeah, there's no desert nearby. There's no point in growing cactus. Which, uh, I'll explain once I get. But basically, every building has work spots, and you can add or subtract people. And now someone has to go and fill that space. Current, nothing. I'm gonna show the research. And you can do, like, priority thing. 
But yeah, I'm gonna go with this. And it's gonna have two scientists to go fast. And now we have both. And I forgot how to do multiple, but there we go. These dirt roads will increase the speed. Uh, oh yeah, I guess we don't have a storage thing, so there's no point in collecting all these for them. Uh, so, worker post. Yeah. Okay, and there's our mother tree. Mother trees, I think, give more wood, but they also spawn more trees once they're grown. I guess they don't spawn immediately. First things you see are those. Yeah, I do- I did know that they were orange. I was wondering why there weren't any, and that's because they don't spawn in at the start of the game. Which is actually kind of interesting. Okay, I got everything set up that I want to build, and now... Go. Okay, we're on, we're on max speed. Sorry. Are you... Oh, we're, we're running out of wood. Stay down, and then this, chop down the trees, not the baby ones, hopefully. Okay, we got the worker just up and running, so now I'll have to uh, work on this. So, uh, let's see, I'm gonna pause actually. So there's general workers, builders, which will only do building, carriers, which will carry materials to storage areas, Harvesters, which will harvest things, and general workers. I don't know what they do exactly. Everyone else goes to a research building or something like that, because the farms that constructed yet. Once the farm's constructed, you'll see something similar to this. And this. They'll work on it. So, yeah. There's gonna be builders and all that. Oh yeah, also, you have to worry about employment. You have employment as a game mechanic. Unemployed. And, and then you also have how many people are actually doing things, you know. Okay, so I have uh, five general workers and uh, two harvesters. The rest will just be unemployed. Which makes them general workers, basically. So actually, if that just makes them general workers. If that just makes them unemployed, I'll, if being unemployed just makes you do that. And I'll have two carriers. Some paws. Running out of food. I don't know, I have to remember how to put priority on things. Priority. Okay, that's V. V. Let's put priority on this. Hold on. Okay, I see. So you have, uh, remove priority, set priority higher, set prior highest. So, let's see, let's get priority here. Priority... This is, like, our highest priority item. I guess I'll, uh, set it to uh, highest priority. these trees to be uh, pretty important so that we're not working on this. And then we click go. Going. Priority tool. Oh, we don't have any berries before we get the farm set up. We need more wood. So, but we have people chopping down. Oh, Ambu's moving. Ambu woke up. Okay, we got the wood. Okay. Let's see. The only plant we have is beet. And I, I, I wish seed storage was a mechanic. Can me just say here? Mm -hmm. I wish that was a mechanic. Okay, so the way it plant you. You set up uh, harvests in the plant spaces. I'm gonna go with plant and harvest for now. Um, oh, different amount, different plants use different amounts of water. Oh, okay, they're very generous w with how grass works. As long as there's a reasonable amount of grass, it, ch it, it chances are it'll work. 
Okay, so that'll be beats. And I'll have uh, three people dedicated to that, which leaves eight unemployed. And actually, unemployment is a good thing. So yeah, continue working, and then we'll get some food. We're researching kitchen currently. And you got those cheap trees top down. Now we'll see here. Alright, but it doesn't produce off. So it's a large mother tree, but it's not a mother tree yet. It's why not just harvest the tree? Once the tree is fully grown though, I think it's then it'll go. Okay, so our builders wait, what are they? Okay. Actually, there's nothing for them to do. Oh yeah, right, they need water. I'm gonna set up some dirt roads. Okay, you can see the infrastructure here. This is just so they can walk between their beds easier. Uh, this is so they can get to their workstation easier there. This is this one's so they can get to this research building. And then th this is so they can get from the air well to here. Get the resources. <laughs> Don't want to make a shortcut. I'm going to make a shortcut. Actually, wait, no. I don't think people actually have to go here. They don't have to go there to get employed. So we don't need to put road there. Um, so yeah, there's that. Of course, there's no such thing as diagonal road. I can't do undo. That doesn't exist. That should be a feature. Of course, you can use the remove tool. Now I just gotta get a pathway so that you can go from here to here. Still a long path. I should have put the farm closer, but whatever. Now we hit go. It's a little bit cold. It is a little bit. Oh shoot! I'm going to slow us down. That's gonna slow down our growth by a ton, isn't it? Wait. Oh, we have a beet. We got eaten. Beets are growing, just very slow. I'll uh, harvest these. And then we want to set up a berry grower. Kitchen, oh yeah, we have that now. Oh, we need to make a wood planks. I'm not sure how we do that. Okay, I figured it out. You need carpenter and stone, and stone cutter. So that's actually going to be important. And I'm going to have the employment rate higher, which is actually a bad thing, because I don't have people to do whatever I want. Okay, so I'm going to put a berry gatherer. It's like 49%. Uh, yeah, that's the best position for it. I'm going to make that... Uh, Priority. Which I'm gonna increase that priority higher. 
or else we we'll starve. And that's also important. Yeah, on fertilizer, let's see. And then we have to work on uh, research. Show research tree. On Boo, we're not going to order around. And research resources. We want to get the dung collector so we can then get the sawmill. And then we can mine the giant trunks of Nambu's back. Mm, that, that's fine. This is the, uh. This is the parasite route, which I'm not gonna need. And then you eventually get a bunch of cool stuff from the resources tree. From this end. Compost heap just helps with farming. This is the farming tree. Food stand, village doctor. You're gonna need this one eventually, but I don't wanna. I'm really gonna have to do that. I'm gonna regret not having research when the time comes. Oh, ooh, the scavenger hunt's actually a uh, hut, not hunt. I'm going what, two days. Hold on, let's see where are we? No desert. Maybe a jungle. Okay, so research tree. Oh yeah, for some things you need knowledge, which you get from going out. So for tornadoes, you need knowledge. Okay. Right. That's why. That's... Okay, well, no, th then that means there's no point in getting the dung collector. Well, I guess it could, but you need this. Okay, so then I'll go with the uh, village doctor. Oh, researching cacti. No. Right click. Okay, so I fixed it. Now there's going to be people harvesting up there. So Oh, we got we got food. This is important so that we can do that. Okay, we've got people up there, now they're mining away. set up. Not, not in jungle. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry, hurry up. At least we're not starving. Make the wall ran through that as quickly. Chop down trees. Where's all our stone? Where's it going? Hurry up. Of course, it's going to be mysterious storage. Okay. I'm gonna have you harvest some hull. Some that. Some of that. Select because I want to clear space. Let's see. I want to do. Man, they take forever to grow. Let's speed up. Okay, Anbu will go to sleep if he wants to. He's asleep. I'm out of water. 
which is going to be a problem. Ooh, it makes like the tree sound. But it doesn't make the creaking sound, it makes the farm noise. Okay. We need more wood. Okay. People aren't going over there. People are going over here. Oh, yeah, because it's the same priority. It's just gonna work. This. 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 We, oh, okay, now we're starting research on something useful. Okay, we're chopping trees. Is this getting built? Is it getting built in time? I think we might, uh, hire just some fun. Because we're not using all the space. So at max speed, okay, it's built. And we can unhire the uh, farmer because money. Okay, 16, yep. Okay, building. And that's the game so far. Okay, yeah, so what? Well, there's nothing challenging. Yet. And now that we've gotten ourselves established, we're already at a crossroad. We haven't even got the horn blower. So Anbu here is just gonna head whatever which way he feels like. If he's smart, cool. He'll head that way. Because maybe he's a bit hungry. Of course, he's not that hungry. And there's also a short cold snap that way. Of course, I don't know if he has eyes. Oh, should we add He I don't think he has very good seeing. So if we had a corn blower. Corn blower? Corn blower. Okay. Now we got a set up some stuff. If we want to make a kitchen, then we need a stone cutter in this. Okay. Step one. Harvest resources. So... Like that. And I guess general workers is everything the other ones don't do, because, yeah. Hmm. Yep. Okay, it's coming up. The yeah, other is what it looks like. And you can see, this still uses the same assets. It's just zoom it out a bit. And then it would probably lag out the game if it were at this point. For you, all you would see is like, you would barely, there would only be like one thing being seen. Let's look at the research tree. Yeah, now we're researching this. Hmm. Well, wheat's useless without the rest of this. Beet is the cold crop. It's what grows when it's cold. Darn. Well, all we're gonna need to be growing for a while is beets, so we're not gonna need to research other crops. <clears throat> That's all for, uh, today's episode, by the way. So yeah, see you next time. Bye.